All right, guys, we're gonna be looking at a couple of cold starts today. Um, got the Husqvarna 1830 HV. LED lights on it. Um, haven't started this in a couple weeks. Uh, see right now, we're kind of going to start to go through a warm spell here. The snow stopped, but it's still 22 degrees, but we're going to be going through a warm spell here then next week or so. Um, we're also going to attempt to start this old piece of junk, this uh, MTD Yardman garbage pile it's been sitting here since summertime i told the guy how much it was to fix it and uh he doesn't really care either way he doesn't want to pay the bill so he's a friend of mine too but i mean i don't know what to do with it i, I might try to fix it up uh it needs a box to go around the carburetor i was gonna make it out of this uh, galvanized sheet metal make like a box for it and the engine has to be tightened down too because can't see it, but the engine's loose. So. <laughs> Auger's bent. I mean, this thing is just a, it's just a pile. Um, can't blame him for not wanting to put any money into it, but um, is what it is, I guess. So um, there's the fuel line's rotten too, so there's no gas in the tank. So we just started off a starting fluid, I guess. I'll spray some of the carb and just get it to fire. And I got the electric start plugged in, so we'll uh, we'll tackle that after the uh, after the Husqvarna uh, pull out my legs in the tripod here um, let us let's get ready here so we're gonna turn the choke all the way on hit the primer probably one two three four hit the on switch and we'll go over here. And we'll start button right here. So, actually, I'm gonna do it from this angle because I don't want to get covered in exhaust fumes. And uh, this is the muffler right here. My hands on it, so it's it's cold. So, here we go. It's gonna get loud in here. Just so you know. Starts up pretty easy, which it should for something, you know, that's that new. Um, eh, it's been doing all right this winter. Um, I'm gonna have to tip it over and uh, clean the friction disc on it because the friction disc gets oil and moisture on it and stuff. It's just, a, it's kind of a bad design, you know, on the Chinese engine on it. But um, <laughs> you know, 414 cc's. I mean, it's a big big engine you know look at those fins so I guess we'll move oh, we're gonna go over here I man I gotta get my uh, gotta get my starting fluid not sure where in the hell I put that at oh. <laughs> Here it is. Some FVP, just eh, premium starting fluid. It's all the same. Nothing premium about it. 
Uh, let me move the gas edger over here. Um, I haven't started this thing, you know, since summertime, so um, your guess is as good as mine what's going to happen. It's got oil on it, though. I did change the oil. Um, the oil was just black as coal. The guy never never changed the oil on it, I don't think, either. Um, it just abused. <laughs> got the wrong muffler in it, too, you know. It's, it's just... It's kind of about... It's about had it, but might try to fix it up and just sell it for something I don't know but, um, let me see here I think, uh, let's see what the choke is doing here and the carburetor's got some rest in it too okay choke is open um, I'm gonna throttle up a little bit here eh, midway uh, no sense in hitting the primer cuz well um, there's no fuel in the tank and the, it's rotten anyway, so the fuel line is rotten. Um, plus I, I gotta figure out to make this, how to make the switch ground out again. The ground out tab is broken on it, so it doesn't shut off, so probably good there's no gas in the tank. Just on starting fluid, so. <sighs> Get a couple shots in there. And the thingy, the carburetor. Now it's not going to keep running, it's just going to do a, uh... well I should just start and die, so. Um, like I said, I haven't started it since <laughs> summertime, so. And that's the Tecumseh, I think it's like 357 cc's, something like that. So, Alright, here goes nothing. <laughs> really good, I guess. Uh, headlight still works on this thing too. I can't believe it for something that's set out in somebody's yard and the whole, like I said, the whole front end's been smashed by a car or tractor or whatever the hell. Ran it into. Give it a little more. More of a spray. It's so short. I'll show you the headlight works. Yeah. yeah, she's a good runner. Um, I don't think I don't think it needs any carburetor work because I had it this summer. I had it running on its own tank, its own tank of fuel. Um, like I said, the line's so rotten, you it just leaks right out over time. But I think uh, I will clean the carburetor, fix the switch up, and put a carb box on it and. This tire right here keeps going flat. I don't know if I should put some uh, some of that sealer sealant in there. Pop the valve stem out, put some sealant in there. If I should just take it to a tire shop and get a tube in it, I don't know. Like I said, I think it's not worth much. The con the condition that it's in. So um, maybe one of these days we'll do a cold start on these generators over here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.